This is Apocrypha. Hey, how's it going there? Welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. During the Final Descent quest, we discovered a black book called The Winds of Change. This is just a quick walkthrough of what you do when you get to Apocrypha. To see exactly how you get the book, see my walkthrough on the Final Descent. I'll leave a description at the end of the video and or in the description um, if I remember. Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, to get to Apocrypha, all you've got to be is in Solstheim and read the book and that will take you straight in. You can't bring any followers with you, so uh, make sure you're prepared. This is one of the quickest and easiest of the uh, Black Book quests as well. And as usual, watch out for those little tentacles. They're not particularly accurate. A Seeker will spawn soon. And there he is, just behind me. So take care of him. Yeah. Two of them at once. That's a bit naughty. They're definitely worth um, searching their remains. They give some good books and spell tomes. Okay, Petty Soul Gem, read that. Take the book. Always watch the uh, the dark water or the uh, waters of oblivion. So give that a bit of a another book. Nom nom. Okay. Grand Soul Gem. Nom nom. And spell time. Conjure Seeker. The Seekers are bloody rubbish, to be fair. I'll, I'll actually use one uh, soon, and uh, I'll show you. Okay, just go through here. Okay, to get that gate open. Oh, search pod, sorry, forgot about that. I'm sure I've got that already, but I'll take it. Grab a soldier in my fear, and then activate the spray. Okay, refresh the bow. There's always the seeker there, take care of him. This one really is straightforward. Obviously, watching the uh, dark water there. Oh, definitely haven't got that one. These little things here uh, refill your magicka. Just literally activate it and you get completely topped up. They could be handy. Keep on going through. Now what will happen, a lurker will pop out here and kill him. Job done. It's worth having a little wander around to see if you can pick up bits and bobs here. Uh, lots of scrolls around. Now, go on, get you, thank you. You may or may not want to open this skill book here. It's a two-handed skill book, I, th I believe. Um, get to this skill book. You may not want to do that. I'll show you the choices of the Black Brook uh, at the end, okay? And that could have a bearing. So anyway, if you can watch, uh, sorry, loot the Lurker. Don't go into the water unless you can help it. 
What's he got? Come on, Soul Gem, go on. Ring and Wayne and Magic, that's not bad. Okay. Activate the scry. Ah, uh, sorry, yep, yeah, you should have activated the scry in another room as well, sorry. Yeah, just go in here. Activate that one. Told you it was quick. <laughs> and come up here. And there's some stuff to loot. Always a decent enchanted item as well. That's not bad actually at all. And I think that's just about it in here for looting. Now, we get to the book. Now, reading the book grants one of the following abilities. A scholar's insight. Uh, reading skill books gives an extra skill point. Now, really good if you've been smart and either got your followers to pick, uh, pick them up or not read them at all so you can go back. Because uh, at level 90, that, that's the hardest time to level up. And no training goes past level 90. So you get two points for each skill book. I think there's five per skill. So that can take you from 90 to 100. You've got the companion's insight. Your attacks, shouts and destruction spells do no damage to followers. This is great for those that use followers and are less than accurate weapons or magic, or use area effect magic indeed, um, or have the followers with them in barrows, at caves, etc. Lover's Insight, you do 10% more damage uh, to and get 10% better prices from people of the opposite sex. Now, as most NPCs are male and I play a female, this is particularly good for me at the moment. But remember, you can always come back and change simply by reading your book again. Now, do remember, you must be in Soul's time to do that. Okay, to return back to Soul's time, just simply read your book again. Or use the, um, at the base of the book, you can activate that and that will take you straight back. And there you go. Job done. So, let's just take a, a quick look and see if everything's working as intended. Go down to Active Effects. And where are you? Come here. There you go, Lover's Insight. Do 10% more damage and get 10% better prices from people the opposite sex. Job done. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. This was a really easy one. Um, so, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.